We're talking about the half-empty, half-full glass of water uh, approach toward life, what I call a positive or negative mind view. We all know the illustration that we can use like this. Again, what is your life? Half empty or half full? There's a parable that Jesus Christ spoke in Matthew chapter 25, beginning in verse 14, the parable of the talents, very familiar to many, that speaks about this very matter that we're talking about here, half empty, half full. Let me read it. The kingdom of heaven, Christ said, is like a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. And he gave to one five talents. All right? Five talents. And to uh, another, he gave two. All right? And so he said, uh, after he went on to his journey, he, he went, he who had received the five talents then went and traded with them and made another five talents. And so he increased his talents by five to come up with ten. He doubled what he had. And likewise, he who had received two did the same thing. They both doubled what they had been given by the master. But he who received one, there was one, a third individual who received only one, he went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. Didn't do anything. After a while, it says the Lord returned to settle accounts with them. In verse 20, he who received five talents came and brought the other five talents, saying, Lord, you've delivered to me five. I have gained five more. The master said, well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Be faithful over many. And the same with the one who had brought two. He brought two. He said, I've doubled it. I made four. Same thing was said to him. Well done, good and faithful servant. And Christ praised both of them here through the master here uh, in these two servants. These two right here are individuals who took the talent given to them, took the opportunity, took what was in front of them, took what they inherited, however you want to describe it when it comes down to our own life today, education, money, and they doubled it, and they said that they were good and faithful servants. They lived life with a half-full approach, all right? The one who only received two could have said, well, I didn't get as many as the one who had five, but he didn't. He took what he had, doubled it just as the other had done according to his ability, and lived an abundant life, lived a life full of joy, lived a life of satisfaction. They had a half full approach to life. In verse 24, though, as we look at the individual who had one and just basically came up with one and had a zero increase, he who had received the one talent came to the Lord and said, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you'd not sown, gathering where you've not scattered seed. I was afraid. This person was fearful. A negative emotion, a negative reaction, a negative approach to life, a half-empty approach to whatever comes into his life. He said, I was afraid, and I hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. Didn't even put it out to, to, for a nominal amount of interest. Uh, exerted no effort, actually lived a, a, a life of neglect, want, what we might call poverty. And so the Lord answered him and called him a wicked, lazy servant. You knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seen. See, you could have at least deposited the money and gained a bit of interest. And so he commanded others to take the talent from him and give it to those who had. And that's a pretty hard description and a pretty hard parable of an individual who had a zero-sum, half-empty approach toward life. He had not done, done his duty. He had not worked. And he criticized the master and basically said, I could have done better with his approach. And he felt that his was superior than anything done there. Look at this. What do you have? What are the talents in front of you? Do you have two? Do you have just one? Or are there multiple talents of hospitality, of service, of ability, of intelligence, even a pocket full of money, an account full of money with ample means to expand your life, do good for yourself and your family and for others? What is your approach? Take what you have, work with it, build with it, rather than look at what you don't have. This impacts so much of our life at whatever age. We may find ourselves, and no matter what comes into us, 
appreciate what we have. Take what we have, serve God, serve each other, and have an abundance mentality. That's one of the critical lessons to learn from this, and that can help us determine, and you determine, whether you have a mind view that is half full or half empty. When I come back, part three of this, I want to give you a story from my own life, a real life experience of someone that I think exemplified this and taught me that lesson when I was a young man. That's BT Daily. Join us next time.